Okay friends, welcome back to the continuing education programs health talks by doctors at the Pace Hospital Madhapur. This program as periodically done by various doctors in various specialties at Pace is to pass on you the information available about various diseases and the main aim is to diagnose the diseases early so that you can get very good treatment and you will be free of the disease for life. I am an oncologist, Dr. Ramesh Parimi, and I am a surgical oncologist. You have heard from my colleague, Dr. Brahmajit Singh, the medical oncologist, a few things about ovarian cancer, how ovarian cancer develops, in what which individuals women it develops, it is exclusively a women's cancer, that is a female cancer. So ovaries, ovaries are present in the females and not in the males, evidently. So you heard about from him various aspects, including the incidents, the age who are affected mostly, the stage at which it is diagnosed, the problems faced in diagnosing it early because of uh, the insidious or insignificant symptoms which are vague at times and the patient fails to consult the family doctor or the uh, oncologist on time. This is the main reason why they come late and relatively a bit fast growing or fast developing cancer I must say ovarian cancer. Having heard from him about the various aspects, I would like to concentrate and give you some information on the treatment available for ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer mostly is for surgery. It is a surgeon's domain. Ovarian cancer, irrespective of the stage of the disease, needs uh, surgery one form or other. When the disease is confined to the pelvis, that is lower abdomen or lower tummy, and does not spread to other organs in the body, Probably the best treatment is the surgery and that is the definitive treatment. The, cyto, the type of surgery that is being done for ovarian cancer is called cytoreductive surgery. We do debulking of the various tumors arising from the ovary spread onto the address and uh, fallopian tubes including some surrounding organs and pelvic peritoneum we call and sometimes spreading into the abdominal cavity and also producing water accumulation that is called ascites. So in these stages, because it is a kind of a locally spread disease, most of us surgeons do not operate upfront. Immediately we do not operate after diagnosing, confirming and staging the disease which is real 3 or 3B and all that. That is from the ovaries, the disease has spread to other parts in the abdomen that is tummy. We give before surgery, the definitive treatment, what is called neoadjuvant therapy, that is before surgery, we like to give some chemotherapy to the patient, which is quite tolerable. And then once chemotherapy is given in cycles, then we subject the patient for surgery, definitive surgery, to extirpate, to remove all these tumors that are present in the abdomen. So this kind of neoadjuvant or before surgery treatment consists of a series of uh, uh, chemotherapy agents, that is medicines, anti-cancer medicines given in cycles, generally in the intervals of about say three weeks like that. What medicines to be given, what drugs to be given, how often to be given, all these are, are detailed by the medical oncologist who go deep into the situation and suggest correctly the number of drugs, the number of cycles. Once this uh, chemotherapy is given, the water that is ascites in the tummy disappears. The local spread disease gets all vanished. That is uh, the chemotherapy kills all the cancer cells and it gets localized to a particular area in the pelvis, either the uterus or ovaries and nearby organ. That means when the cancer is not spread here and there, it is not scattered, it is confined to one area in the tummy, abdomen. It is easy for the surgeon, as you can understand, to remove all end block. So in this surgery, which is called cytoreactive surgery, various things are removed including the ovaries from which the cancer arises, the uterus and surrounding fallopian tubes and surrounding tissues of the peritoneum we call paracolic gutter, momentum, etc. This is a kind of cytoreactive surgery or debulking surgery which is quite safe most of the times and uh, the recovery also is fast for the patient. After chemotherapy, the surgery also becomes quite feasible and uh, very fruitful. Following surgery, depending on the case, if need be, further chemo would also be given chemotherapy, some more cycles would be given. 
say before surgery probably 6 cycles are given maximum after surgery maybe another 4 to 6 cycles should be given what kind of drugs to be given as I already told you depends on various aspects and the medical oncologist and the tumor board are the best to decide what treatment to be given in the form of chemotherapy and once surgery is done and there is no spread anywhere else in the body the patient keeps coming for regular checkup that is called surveillance first year about once in three months where we do series of tests including scan and some blood tests to see whether again there is any issue that is recurrence of the disease. Then uh, after first year it comes second year patient comes once in four months quarterly I mean uh, once in four months. Third year onwards at least once in six months patient should visit the oncology center and the doctor so that should be evaluated for any recurrence unfortunately or any spread anywhere else. So once five years the follow up is there and patient is disease free probably we can rest assured that patient is almost cured. So we talk about 10 year survival rates, 5 year survival rates in treatment of various cancers including ovarian cancer. As already mentioned by Dr. Ramajit, my colleague, medical oncologist and myself that most ovarian cancers unfortunately come in stage 3. The standard care calls for multimodality treatment including chemotherapy and surgery preceding and following the surgery chemotherapy cycles in which case the prognosis that is the long term survival rates are that about 5 year survival rates being 46 percent and 10 year survival is about say 30 to 32 percent 18 to 32 percent in most centers. So as you can understand urine cancer is something which is very fast growing and uh, quite to be quite dangerous fatal if not addressed properly in the proper time and treated completely. That's why any suspicion of ovarian cancer should be taken seriously either to be ruled out or confirmed and staged by a series of screening tests and other tests available. In this regard, uh, many precautions to be followed are already enumerated by Dr. Brahmaji Singh, the medical oncologist like family it is very important. First any of the family members, close relatives, first degree relatives and the mother or grandmother of a lady suffered from ovarian or breast cancer. That particular set of people, lady should come for screening regularly in the specified period and uh, they should always be alert for any kind of changes in the tummy like fullness or some kind of bloating and other things. They should not neglect any symptoms breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colon cancer sometimes they are more common in a particular set of individuals like in those Lynch syndrome what you mentioned. So any cancer, colon, endometrium that is uterus, ovary and probably breast they are all belong to almost kind of same kind of genetic aberration family where the genetic mutations can cause one of the cancers in those organs I mentioned. So take care, no need to worry or upset, see your family doctor regularly and also an oncologist whenever you find that there is a risk factor involved or whenever the woman feels that there is something abnormal with her menstrual cycle or bleeding per vagina or abdomen lower tummy so that the disease can be diagnosed early and the benefit of doubt can go to the pa patient that is uh, the lady and uh, hopefully she would do much better than when it is neglected and uh, comes to the doctor at a very late stage. And this is all I have to say and uh, we at the PACE are open for any kind of interaction in person whenever you take appointment with the oncologist and come for more information and also in case of any doubt for further evaluation of your results. Goodbye and take care, be safe and be healthy.